Shot 94, take one. Action. All right, here we are back at the uh, tidy table. table. Tidy, tidy table. table, tidy snooker table. Feels good. And we've got Paul Glasby with us now. <laughs> very good, very good. Big fan of Paul Glasby. Cheers, Michelle. Paul, thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, cheers. Sorry. Thanks. And uh, we've got lots of questions for you, five in fact. Really? And the first one was... Uh, Quite a simple one. This is a simple one, and it was written by somebody who's only got one hand. <laughs> was it their writing hand or...? No, it wasn't their writing <laughs> It wasn't their writing hand. Uh, what's your mum and dad's name? <clears throat> um, my dad's called John. John, fair enough. And uh, my mum's called Lorraine. Lorraine? John like Lorraine. That. John nice. Lorraine. Two good names. Well, yeah, I don't actually know anybody called Lorraine. Anymore. I'd like to meet you, Mum. I used to go to really? school with well, a girl I called Lorraine. Three years, so you... <laughs> <laughs> Question two, Andy. <clears throat> Paul, how is Vicious Circle doing at the moment? Your label. Talk us through your label. Um, I think it's doing all right. I believe it is. Yeah. What do you mean um, you think? Well, how many releases are you in, mate? We've done twelve. Yeah, twelve. Biggest release to date? Uh, Kick it, probably. Yeah. It's the first one. But which is nice. Yeah. Um, Beautiful's been a good one, Out of Control. Uh, but I think this year we've got the, better, the releases that we've got coming out are going to be a lot better. Than what have you got lined up? Lined up. Uh, we've licensed Incisions Beyond Motion from uh, BPM in Holland, which is an old Tony to be classic. Yeah, good man. Um, it's going to be a remix from myself and Paul James and a remix from Steve Thomas. Big package then. Aye. Quite. Do, uh... <laughs> 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 um, I'm trying to think what else we've got. Oh, we've got Lab 4 remixes, Knuckleheads remixes, um, Nick Sentience remixes of various. Can you stop there because it sounds better than our lineup? Right. Just to be honest. <laughs> uh, right, it's doing very well. Number three, uh, you've been known and you are known as a bit of a hard DJ playing hard edge stuff. Yes. Uh, is there any other DJ you think's harder than you? Um, yeah, I'm sure there must be some then. Have you ever met one? <laughs> no, Karim uh, can always give me a run for me. Do you fear following somebody? Yeah, like, do you oh, think shit? I'm I following. always, I always think E and M could show me up if he really got his. When he's in the right mood, yeah. We're well, gonna watch it. Uh, finishes on about 170 BPM. So if you're watching Ian, don't bother. <laughs> um, yeah. You don't want to do that, Amadeus, do you? You don't want to finish too fast before E and M when you're playing in places like Canada with splashdown at plus six, was it, Amadeus? Yeah, really? that was a yeah. Fun, that was a not a funny story. Sorry about that, Ian. Yeah, Ian. Uh, we were in Canada, and uh, well, let's just hope Ian's not watching then. <laughs> I don't think he will be, will he? Not now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Ian's so, quite um, hard. Yeah, Ian, uh, Karim, Andy Farley can always have his uh, moments. Yeah, moments. his moments. But um, you're you're one of the hardest. But yeah, uh, we're not very hard, are we? No, nope, God, no. probably. In fact, if we're following you, you finished on splashdown at Sunday Central on minus two, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Are you laughing? Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing at that? Well, I finished it up to plus four. Come but on. that has been, you know. Yeah, but that was yeah, being. No, I, I saw that, you were coming. That, that I thought, don't steal your thunder. No, before you were there, it Let's was a plus eight. Cheese, you said. <laughs> no, it was at plus eight, and I saw Paul come in the box, and I pitched it down to minus <laughs> you two. You wiped it up. <laughs> I, I pulled it down to minus two. That's no, fair. I, I, I appreciate the. Thanks. Gives me somewhere to go. But we don't often get that. I tell you what. Actually, when we find out we're following you, we don't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> we get nervous. Uh, number four. Andy's going to say this because you've been rehearsing this in the car, haven't you? <clears throat> What's your top tune at the moment? Oh, um, I would say it'd either be I'm Your Nightmare, which is one I've done on Tidy Tracks, Good Tells, <laughs> or Your Mamba, which is a RRFS track that's uh, just been released on Vicious Circle. Brilliant. Very nice. Good. Very nice. Chosty numbers. Very good. Look forward to both of them. Okay. Uh, question five, which is your last question. Um, if you could swim underwater with anyone famous, who would it be? <clears throat> Not very deep, you know, shallow end. Really? I'm not a good it's a swimmer. friendly swim, it's not a serious swim. Um, it'd have to be, I reckon... It could be a woman if you want. It's going to be a woman. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it'd have to be uh, probably Jill Kelly or Jenna Jameson. Are these porn stars? They, they are porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a little story about Paul and his porn, isn't there? He, can we say that you are the porn? So uh, it's the porn that. king at Tidy Tracks. If you need any light relief at the weekend. Any stimulation. <laughs> any stimulation. He's your man. Bit of wrist exercise. Yep. Madam Palmer and her five lovely daughters. <laughs> i tell you what, a night in with Paul, you wake up and your hands like a claw. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for Paul on his questions. Uh, and once again, we've got the 30 seconds bit, which is... Uh, I thought it would be funnier than it is. But <laughs> <laughs> you've got 30 seconds, Paul. Get the watch ready. Right. 
You've got 30 seconds to talk about the clarinet or any other woodwind instrument. <laughs> go, go. That was a clarinet. Clarinet. <laughs> it's a lot. You're just oh, delaying for time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 10 seconds. I, think I like the, the woody, the woody feel. The dark woody colour. I actually said the clarinet was gone. So Paul Maddox corrected me, so it's a good job I mentioned it. Right. Um, so that's a nice sound. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's more of an oboe. Oh, I always get mixed up, you see. I didn't know what a clarinet was. Is it? <laughs> but you did say any, any other woodwind. Any woodwind, yeah. So yeah. The oboe, I think, but is It's just the wood, wood instruments in general, I like the sound of. Do you like the African knee trumpet? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lot. Paul Blasby.